Okay, so another way to increase the um, design of your Google Slides is to play around with different fonts. Like you can see here, I have this kind of cool sketchy font going on um, that I found right before I uh, started creating this presentation today. So this is a new one I just added. So how do we go ahead and find those fonts? And actually it's quite easy. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're in a text box, like my cursor is blinking right here. If I'm not in the text box, I don't see my fonts as an option. So I'm going to make sure I'm in there. I'm going to drop down my list and what you're going to notice is the most recent fonts you've used and then this sort of alphabetical list of everything else that um, Google's going to offer you. So this is like the default package of fonts that Google has given to you. However, Google does provide more fonts if you'd like to add some to your list. So if I go into more fonts and I just want to look at the list here. Everything that has a blue check mark is something that was on the list we just looked at. Everything else would be um, a new addition. So as you're scrolling through, if you see something that you think looks um, kind of interesting, something you want to actually um, add to your um, your list of items that you can choose from, then you just click on it. So let's say I want to use this one called Luckiest Guy. I click on it. It turns blue. I'm going to say OK. And now when I come back to my fonts, I'm going to tri triple click just to get that up there. And here is Luckiest Guy. So that is now included in my font group because I used Add More. There is also some more fonts that Google has for us on this fonts.google.com. And I've included the links on the first slide. There is links to these for you just for easy access. So there is a ton of stuff in here. And again, these are all Google fonts. They just don't come with the original download of the file, um, but we can add them in as you want. So if you find something here that you think is neat, um, this one's kind of standing out to me. It's called Modak. You just got to remember the name of it. So I'm going to come back here into my fonts just like I did before more fonts and the name of that because this is a Google font it's going to find it and it's right here called Modak. I'm going to use my check mark. I'm going to say OK. And now I have this one available to me. Um, another thing you can do is download fonts, but in Google's uh, products, you can't use a downloaded font. Um, but what you can do is go to um, fontmeme.com. Again, that is um, something else that is um, a link I've provided in slide one. And you can just click on any topic, what sort of topic of um font are you looking for? And it might tell you, hey, this is not free, but you scroll down, and it says, are any of these interesting to you? Okay, so I'm going to go fantasy fonts. Um, we'll just click on the Polar Express. And it says, um, this one's not free, but maybe, you know, here's some other ones that, oh, this one is free. You can't use that one. Um, here's some other ones that are similar or kind of in the same genre that you might think are interesting. So let's go ahead and click on Beyond Wonderland. And we're not going to download this, but we're going to go into preview. And so since I know that on this particular page, my title is going to be called fonts, I can tell it what size I want it to be. Um, I can select a color. I'm going to go ahead and generate that and it looks like this. So right from here I can just copy it, come back to my slide, and hit paste. And here is my title fonts. And so the only problem with this is if you decide you want to change it later you do have to go back and retype it in. Um, but at least it'll generate it for you and you're able to um, you're able to put that straight into your um, you're in, into your slides with that transparent background, so it does look kind of cool. Um, as far as dragging and dropping, it might get a little blurry, but again, you have the ability to change the size here. So those are just a few ways that you can go ahead and change your fonts by using the More Fonts, Google Fonts, or something like font meme there's a ton of free download font sites where they let you preview and you can just copy and paste that font directly into here